Thanks for messing around. Time for some Thunder Loop from Down Under. Vampire Cyrus Beswick 117 continues now. Time for a big bag of wind with Scrojoni in the Green Acres. Merman off the start. Alright, let's go with Twilight Requiem. Yeah, that's much better. Crown. Levels. Levels mean more lightning rings. Well, at least Clear Debris is finally showing up. Yep, Toronto Fox, good. Hey, there's the lightning ring. Now I don't have to waste three rolls. Oh, great. I could have bought from, some from Merchant. Oh well. Hey, Empty Tomb. Exactly what I wanted. Alright, Spinach, Candle Arbor Duplicator. Easy peasy. One more ring to shoot. And still pretty dicey just from the sheer amount of attacks coming in. Ah, that's a bad random event time. Or was it the greatest one? I need that ring level up as fast as possible. Bit risky on this green acres. We get really strong later on once you can have it all launched out. Uh oh. Is that what I wanted? Obviously, I need duplicator. Oh, that's three more rings. Or no, that's three rings in total. Hmm. Okay, so the other rings are not getting the benefit of my passives. That's not good. They are getting the Arcana bonus, at least. It's very obvious which one is coming off the actual lightning ring here. There's four lightning rings. Well, no, I don't have the uh, Tragic Princess yet, so it's not reducing cooldown on move. But it's still going off pretty fast. Now I just need... Oh, right. Silver Ring is on the map. Oh, I got a direction to go. Hey, nice. Lucky. Oh, Blood Skeletons. Now, I kept trying to find some way to destroy them in Symphony of the Night, but nothing ever would. <laughs> nope, my chest back there. Oh, not so far back. I can risk it. For the biscuit. Okay, even if it's a five, or it won't max out. Toronto's box? Hey, there's my duplicator. Just one Toronto's box. Now I need to be cautious about chests. Now I need to get all the chests in the line. Well, all zero of them. Uh oh. Now I need to grab a chest immediately. Oh, well, hopefully I can get to the silver ring first before I proc too many levels. See, after just a tiny bit of a harder start. Scrooge only, well, you get a nice big square box of gems. Good, I'm recording. Uh, after all the mistakes and problems and errors, I'm always going to be worrying about that. Then when I stop worrying, of course, it's going to mess up. Like, you know, not giving me audio. Or the visual quality deteriorating randomly. No, I guess part of the reason the visual decreases in quality is because I have to run this through CapCut to edit. And by edit, I mean stitch two videos together. You can reach me at this following address if you want me to edit your videos for you. I am totally professional and not late kind of big lazy. Uh oh. I'll get the silver ring first, and then I can double back for it. Nope. 
Dang it. Even the Atlantean is confused. Wow, it's a lot. Uh oh. That was bad. At least I got another lightning ring out of it. Oh, that chest is definitely going to be quicker. Come on, evolve. Yes, nice. Now I can avoid the other one. Yeah, no reason to go there at all. Nice, easy, breezy time. Tag wheel left, and then I win. Why did I go out of my way to do that? They're not even getting close to me. Well, I'm fully powered up at 8 minutes, so it's not a surprise. Well, once things get a bit harsher, it'll probably change. And you know, if the Atlantean doesn't go down by the time I get to the tag, they that'll show me hey, another ring. Well, this probably isn't going to be anything. Oh, well, let's see. Not even 19, 9 minutes and I'm already going to have to be talking about other things, eh? Oh boy. So yeah, a lot of characters have been added. So many characters have been added. If I had started this idea back when there was no DLC, it would have been like... Ah, oh, so few. Like less than 50, and... 8 per DLC is 24. And Rose, Scrooge, Shigun, Space Dude, Barrow Bear. Ah, uh, it's 25, so it'd been down like 50 characters total-ish. Less than 50, actually, like 45. And that would have been a much more sensible idea for a challenge playthrough thing. I'm keeping my eye for the Arcana chest. I don't want to miss getting Tragic Princess. Really should have grabbed Twilight Requiem first off when I did the first run, which failed very fast. Quite quickly it fell. Still no shift. There it is. Ha! You thought you would get rid of me. Oh, I'm here right away, too. Nice. Be helpful to pick up some wings from random. Hey, not dropping that egg either. Hey, one health. Hey, you're off of 108 health. Well, you were off of 108 health anyways with all the passes, so... Eesh. I knew he was pretty strong, but... Boy! And I guess I'm getting a lot of easy ways from... Uh oh, that's bad. In fact, that's absolutely terrible. It seems that if you go horizontally, then the stalker is much slower than if you try to go vertically, and especially if you go diagonally. He will catch you automatically if you try to go diagonally. It's crazy how weird his speed setup is. Is there an Orologian? Orologian? Hey, another ring. been some crazy lightning in my area. It's really cool to look at when it happens. It doesn't happen that often, but boy does it light up the sky. Oh yeah, sweet rosary. Oh, oh candy box. Okay, get another uh, lightning ring. Nope. You're boring. Dang, this is a more mid. Oh, it is in less than 15 minutes. That's not a surprise. No, I might just not have the raw speed to make it to the other Atlanteans after I grab the the left. No danger from the enemies so far. Oh, ran past it. He does start with a lower move speed, minus 20. And 108 health is yet another reference to Sukadin. And yes, I realized the official pronunciation for the... Well, no one. 
who knows this is Suikoden. But I will pronounce it the way I want to pronounce it. Wrong. Look, suit, suitcase. Yeah, I know, sweet also exists. I've gone over this in my head already. And you know, Hoshi. No. Well, I don't know her full name, but I know it's Suise. I want to say Hoshi no, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I am not all up to date on the Japan side of Holo Life. Or Polo Stars. I'm more familiar with the stars, probably because there's fewer of them. Which is doubly funny because I have actually played them. No, it's Hoshino Mari. So it's something else, Sweet Sway. Sweet Say. That one I remember because she's one of the more famous ones I saw her it, along with Usida Pekora. And Corone, who I do not know the name of, for the other hand. No, oh, nomenclature. Should probably be referring to them by their family names. And yet, I'm going to keep referring to them by their given names. Because that's just how we roll in the West. Well, I guess slowly float in Scrojoni's case. Boy, do you really feel it when the movement speed's slower than average. I think it's the idea to just go back to the basics with only... Well, with just no power-ups, I'd still have all the weapon unlocks and stuff. an idea to be interested in. But hey, that won't be till a very long time from now. Well, actually not that long. It's only the DLC, so that's 24. Then another 70 videos. Hmm. Bye bye. Oh man, even the well, not the giant demons, but hey, even the big, real demons are getting destroyed pretty dang easy with this. Let's see. Work and titles. Bring in the lightning. Thunder down under. Thunder down under. Yeah, it's totally right. Even though it's wrong. Yep. Big ol' wind from below. Thunder and noise. Thunder Down Under with Scrojoni. I'm probably getting his name wrong, aren't I? Is it Scrojoni? Ah. Uh, Ram you. And then the sheep explodes. Oh, hey. Uh. Beginning, I guess. I feel like that was a mistake all of a sudden. Yeah, sure, they're not getting in anywhere right now, but I know that as soon as it gets to the end. Well, then again, the Atlantean died before I could even get to the other Metaglio, so... Clearly, things will work out, and I will not need that Awake Revive. Ew, the Cockatrices are almost getting to me. That's a bad sign. And so many of them are going down, they're popping red gems. Not even to six digits yet, either. Weird. Well, I guess it is harder to do it when you're in hurry mode. Just less time for the weaker waves to spawn in for you to catch them. Like, Rose would have probably had a lot better. Oh, wow. Manticores are durable. Rose would have had a lot easier time if she had more bad waves to eat off of than severing the things that could actually, you know, survive for half a second. 
Oh, you know, I could have powered up with Curse and stuff during those waves and then rolled out better at the end since I had more power. But then real tough mobs came in. Oh, that is a story for yesterday. Well, technically today when I'm recording this, but yesterday on the clock. Oh, wow. I'm gonna actually get hit by something. Yep. The arrogance has been up and on my undoing. I'm gonna get babbled. Actually, I probably could just circle it, especially if I get some NFTs. What? That feels completely wrong. Oh, here's some chickens. Ah, the hag. I don't even have that much spellbinder to boost it up. Oh, drop down to Gorgon, so... And not Medusa's. I know the difference between them. No, not, there really is much of a difference. A Medusa is a Gorgon, and a Gorgon is Medusa. Dun dun dun! Yep, there's all them down. Oops, we got to banish it. Oh well. Five curse isn't gonna do anything. No, ten curse isn't gonna do anything. Not against this rain of lightning. Yeah, rain of lightning. Hmm, no dragons. Wonder if that'll have to be fixed. You know, I was really hyped for rain of fire. But then it ended up being boring and bad. Man, I could you uh, ruin a movie about dudes fighting dragons and jets. By not having any jets or helicopters or tanks. That's how. You know, there's this one sci-fi B-movie I watched about resurrecting a dragon, and that one had jets fighting a dragon. And if a B-movie could do that, your theater at least has no excuse. What are you on screen? Bats? Bats. Well, not on screen is bats. Is this isn't Bat Robert? It's Scorjoni. Scorjoni. Wow, death came in fast. I suppose death always does. Attempt number eight, I think? None of which were good reasons to lose. Stalker is a terrible enemy, and burning through well over 70 rerolls and not getting what you need. Terrible. So I'm maxing everything out. So the game is not giving me an option other than to do that. Off to a wonderful start. Get out of here, Shadow Pinion. Get out of here, Garlic. Get out of here. Crap. Oh wait, no, I need wings because I don't want to die to Stalker again. It will be replacing Crown. Hey, Lightning Ring. Now all the weapons are gone out of the pool. Will it matter? Of course, since luck is finally coming around, I will probably die to regular enemies. Why did I take wings over tier Jisu? Oh, that's actually lucky. Oh man, I'm gonna get like eight stalkers over the course of this. I know how you roll RNG against me. Oh, I just need spinach to roll this out. I wish I could get you, but I have to avoid the stalker at all costs. 
Alright, now I can rush up top for the silver ring. And I do mean rush. Especially with you helping me out. Alright, you're nearing first and foremost. And then it will be Empty Tome, then Spinach. Can Labrador finally turn his box? So many levels higher with Crown. So many levels. I'd be nearing maxed out, in fact. They would not be getting close to me. And I would be getting so many big red gems. But, Stalker exists. Stalker exists. I am so far down the list of things I want to talk about. I've completely forgotten what half of it is. Why did I not get spinach? Okay, there's a nice level up. Nice big storm there. Alright, that gets me a bunch more rain, and then the thunderstorm is coming. Lightning storm is here. This can't max it out, so it's safe to grab. Alright, I'm fast enough to get past the blood skeletons. Dang candy box, I thought he was stalker. just come so close because I'm so fast. That's too risky. In fact, that's actually detrimental to have. Even if it didn't, it was just one level because I am still in danger of maxing out and limit breaking. Into the lightning ring instead of the thunder loop. See, right there. If I had the crown, I would absolutely be in limit breaking for the lightning ring. Which is a waste of a lot of levels. I'm recording, audio is good. I suppose this time the tech troubles were failing. Oh, I suppose I should be used to that by now. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll get to 50 subs one day. Thanks for all the comments that are starting to crop up, too. It's nice having people to vaguely chat with. Well, interact with. In a form I actually can, because when I do live streams, the latency is gigantic. And I'm very bad at actually checking the screen. There's the computer monitor and the TV screen I'm playing this on are at completely different angles. There's one limit break. Oh man, crab battle on the stalker is going to be miserable. Okay, they're gone. have Taglio. I can get both the Atlanteans on the same page. Then I have the ability to actually try and dodge Stalker. Oh man, this is a terrible idea. 
where you went, Stalker, there you are. Of course you're on the left, or here you're never on the right. There we go. Need to get them all nice and grouped up. Still there, I think. Nope. Oh, look at that. Just the slightest touch. And I was moving instantly, I saw it. Okay, there. Now they're all grouped up and I can flick this around. No, no. You can't be off screen. Now, where'd he go? That doesn't make sense. Oh no. Oh, it's so many levels that could have been limit break. Thunderloop is right here. Oh, I did go down. How did that happen? Did I get a rosary wipeout somehow from the random event? Bad as defanged. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, there's the Arcana. Please give me Tragic Princess. Yes, now it's doom time. This is the endless thunder loop. You aren't surviving that for long, Atlantean. Yep, watch how fast that goes down. Straight on to gold land. Right, light sources, that is not stalker, so I do not need to worry. And all I care about now is that right hand corner and making sure I don't run myself into the dang Atlantean. It's the last thing I of course that happens. Okay, good, I didn't yank out the dang cable. <laughs> yep, just had to double tack it. So many mistakes and random nonsense. Alright, getting closer. Right, what are you gonna be? You're gonna be stalker, aren't you? Scorpion layer. Rosary effect. Huh. So there is a rosary effect. I guess that's what wiped out. Wait. Oh crap. I'm gonna run into Skelmari. That's not good. Or is it amazing? Where are you at? Yeah, you're not gonna get anything. I'm too efficient. And you're too weak and pathetic. Yeah, that's a ton of levels. Yep, you accomplished nothing in your own life. I just gotta make sure Stalker doesn't show up to shadow me again. I will be getting a live for my last Arcana because I am not risking this again. And the Atlanteans are still a danger, but I want golden eggs. Sure, this isn't mad farming, but it's a prestige thing. Like with Pal World, and what I was doing there. And what I will be doing now that they allow you to breed Alpha Pals. Oh boy, is that a thing that's gonna be very scary. All right, 
right, I need to set up that. Well, I guess I'm going to say set it up when I actually am on my Unicorn Overlord stream. Because I did something very silly off camera that I really should not have. Oh well. I easily could have recorded it too, but I just chose not to. Alright, six digits is looking pretty easy for the on kill count. Might actually, yeah, I'm gonna be fast enough to grab all the Metaglios. Maybe this time it will actually remember to stop and look at it and see what it's actually named. There's a boss somewhere. He's on deck now. Circle around that treasure chest. Look at nice and bella chest. I mean, rest was right there. I don't think the pads just come out on Xbox yet. I need to. I would need to run the settings to make sure I could record that correctly, though I doubt it's going to be as nightmarish as Rebirth, because, well, nothing could be that. But of course, if I actually want to, you know, post the Pal World videos, I need to actually get my dang stream archive off the old computer. That and the Holoki videos are stuck on that thing because I've been too lazy to transfer them. Why do anything efficient when instead I could stream or record? The Pal World does make sir for some very, very good shorts. It's my only videos with thousands of views. frankly where most of my subs have come from. Thanks for that. Go give the Pal World shorts a little check. If you haven't yet, they're funny. That's a lovable jank game. I should really be making more shorts for Vampire Survivors too, but meh, nah, never. Shorts are really, really good for your channel. Like, crazy good. Like, YouTube's even rejiggered their video format, so a bunch of sort shorts are showing up while you're watching the video. And they were basically what was popularizing the algorithm for me. Well, Stalker hasn't shown back up again, so that's a bad thing. The moment I take my eyes off the screen, he will return. This is where he was last time when I actually got, you know, some time. But last time this got this far, I didn't have Tragic Princess, so these were actually getting close to me. Which meant I had no room to maneuver. Which meant Stalker just got on me instantly, and there was nothing I could do. Hey, Candy Box. Nope. Oh. I guess I stayed still long enough. But yeah, without something like Stalker or, you know, 70 plus rerolls of nothing, Scrojoni, Squadarjoni, is very strong. And you saw, hopefully, have seen the other videos of Bone Zone and how difficult this got. Ramba, who had to go Divine Bloodline, and still took a long time to actually complete it. Nope. 
soon as he could get going, Scrojoni just let the thunder down under roll. Ah, oh, thunder down under loop. There we go. That's the perfect title for this video. Get a whole bunch of lightning going. Avoid putting the stalker on screen because I do not want to give him any power. Ooh, wow, they're getting really close. Incredibly close. Alright, it's time to do lightning loop tornado. Oh, I do have a wake, so it's not a problem. Man, look at how big these final waves are. He had no problem elsewhere with damage. Took down the Atlanteans, no problem. And they still nearly got him. Oh, I'm gonna revive, grab all these gems. I have a wake. Let's see how high I can go. And this is without crown too. No, oh, and of course, this is the one run I wouldn't actually have needed wings in. Because I didn't get the double stalker surprise. Go figure. Alright, 206, six digit TKOs. A very huge amount of damage done. Scott Arjoni, blowing wind. Alright, and with no trouble on Green Acres and a ton of trouble on Bone Zone, Scrooge only takes us up to 168.3. Pretty good. Alright, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, a dislike if you didn't. Comment if there's anything you want me to build towards. A subscription if you want to support the channel. Have a good day and keep messing around.